Last year, we saw an exciting rookie class, which included the likes of Lamelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and many more. Some of those players overperformed, like Tyrese Halliburton and Tyrese Maxey, while the number two overall pick, James Wiseman, underperformed. But do their rookie seasons matter that much for their long-term potential? Or better yet, can we somewhat predict how good a player will be based on their rookie season? For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use the stat box plus minus when analyzing these rookies. Box plus minus is how many points a player contributed to their team relative to a league average player per 100 possessions. In simple terms, if the player has a positive box plus minus, they are above average. If they have a negative one, they are below average player. If we look at all the all-stars from the last 10 all-star games, or 80 all-stars in total, we can see that 50 out of the 80, or 5 out of 8, had a below average box plus minus in their rookie seasons. Some of the most interesting ones are the most recent finals MVP Giannis had a negative 2.5 box plus minus and Durant was also below average. Secondly, Chris Paul had the highest BPM of anyone on this list. And thirdly, the lowest was Goran Dragic with negative 4.5. So basically, no one has been an all-star with a box plus minus of negative 4.5 or lower in their rookie season. If that is the case, what does that mean for the 2020 class of rookies? The 2020 top 10 picks present us with pretty surprising data. Four of the 10 in Wiseman, Isaac Okoro, Killian Hayes, and Jalen Smith are so low that it would be basically impossible for them to become all-stars, or at best, very unlikely. I think the main idea is that each of them are so undeveloped that too much development is needed for them to become all-stars. For example, with Killian Hayes, he's not a good shooter, defender, and isn't very athletic. Developing all these skills might just be too much. Don't get me wrong, Hayes and Wiseman can still become good players, but great? That's unlikely. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. More off-season content will be coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one.